Your doctor or let's say a repair person cancels their appointment with you on very short notice. Should they have to pay you for your time? Some state lawmakers say yes. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie reports a bill filed this week would make it state law. Yeah, that bill would cover any service provider who would charge you if you cancel your appointment or are late. Well, if they cancel an appointment or are late, they could soon have to pay you for your time. Have you ever sat around for hours waiting for a repair person who never showed up? Or maybe you've shown up for a doctor's appointment or hair appointment only to be told it's been canceled. Under the proposed Service Customer Equal Value Time Act, if that business would have charged you a fee for canceling or not showing up, then they would have to pay you the same fee if they did it. To me, it just made sense, just plain common sense. Representative Ben Moss is one of the sponsors. He says people often have to rearrange their day or even take time off work for service appointments. You may change your schedule for the day. You may take early lunch. It may be an inconvenience to you, but you meet or you're there in place and they don't show up. So if you get penalized, it should be a two way street. It should be the same way for whoever's trying to provide the service. Moss expects resistance to the idea from the business lobby and likely from other affected groups as well, like the medical and dental professionals. He says they'll probably push for changes to the bill in committee. I imagine that there will be some people that will come after it, but I think if there's some businesses out there that are confident in their services, that they will see this as, a, as not a challenge, but something that needs to happen to make sure we have a two-way street. No, no one's time's worth more than anybody else's. We all have obligations and things that we need to do. Uh, the bill's been referred to three different committees in the House, and it would still have to go through the Senate after that. So this bill is a long, long way from becoming law. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. Now, we asked the NC Chamber of Commerce if they would comment on this bill. They have not responded to us yet, but you can go to WRL.com or the WRL News app to learn more about how the process of proposing and passing legislation actually works and why some bills do have a better chance of passing than others.